Hey, um, I want to ask, what do you, 2024 predictions on the election? Who do you think's winning? Okay, so the question is, uh, is, what is the likelihood of Biden being a candidate? Okay, so th- that right there changes everything because you know how in sports everything is about matchups and they'll say this team matches up well. These guys don't match up well. Like let's just say one team is a dominant center yeah. and you don't have a center to defend me and I'm going to score 40 points. Yeah. Let's just say Shaq and they didn't have a strong uh, center to defend me. You're screwed. It's all about so just, matchups. So it's all yeah. about matchups, mm-hmm. right? So, you know, if if Kobe is going against the guy that, you know, they have a defender to kind of kind of keep him a little less than you have a good matchup, right? So the matchup Trump against Biden, Trump's favorite. Mm-hmm. That matchup, Trump is favorite going against Biden. Democrats know it. We've never had a president win with a lower than 39, 37%. It's just never happened, okay? Right. No one's ever won being at that number, and Biden's there today. Democrats are worried whether this guy's going to win or not, and uh, even Obama the other day is talking about the fact that he's worried on what's going to happen here. So there's a lot of talks of Michelle. Right now, if you go to... Can you go to Vegas 2024 presidential odds? This has changed dramatically in the last two, three months. Well, people are making you, bets on it. Huh? They're making bets on it, but this is, the, this is a very interesting number to be thinking about because this thing never lies. If you go 2024 presidential Vegas odds, it'll show you number one right now, one to one. One to one, I think it's Trump. So if you bet uh, 10 grand, you're going to win $10,000 if he wins, right? Mm-hmm. Can you go... Uh, uh, Click on it actually to see. Uh, yeah, if you can go to it, uh, uh, is this the one? I think there's another one. Can you zoom in a little bit so we can see what the odds are? Uh, so 108 to 108. Let me see if I have another one here because first place. <laughs> they got okay, big so, okay, up perfect. There. Uh, uh, <laughs> if you look at this one here, is this Vegas odds? I think there's another one, guys. Let me try to do this. This is okay. very Vegas presidential. Uh, 2024. Why are you looking it up? I find it so, uh, his um, Trump's comeback story is so miraculous because has anybody been voted out of office and then later come back and defeat the person who voted him out? Has that ever happened? I don't know if that's happened, but we've had guys that leave and come back and yeah. won. That's happened before. Uh, so here we go. So Vegas odds, number one is Trump. Mm-hmm. Number two is Biden. But look who's number three today. 11 to 1. 11 to 1 is Michelle Obama. By the way, she was 40 to 1. And she wasn't even in the list. Now you have her third 11 to 1? Yeah. What? And then fourth is Nikki Haley. And look who's fifth. Newsom. Newsom. You don't bet against Vegas. So, so you got Newsom and you got RFK and Kamala Harris 40 to 1. Mm-hmm. But Michelle just, boom, mm-hmm. came up. Hillary Clinton was off this on this list. She fell off like a few months ago. Mm-hmm. So meaning Hillary's out. Now, you can never count her out, but Democrats don't want Hillary to run because they don't think she's formidable. Mm-hmm. But if Michelle goes in and Kamala and uh, Michelle and Newsom go in, you're talking about that is an insane. That's a dream team for the Democrats. That's a dream team for the Democrats. Okay. And the Republicans can act as hard as they want. The nurse, and we got, you're going against Michelle which means Obama's going to campaign. You get against Newsom, which means everybody on that side, he's going to get Hollywood, Fallon, Kemmel. Yeah. You're going to get everybody. Women love Gavin. That's Newsom. right. They yeah. do. So, so then uh, it, 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 Democrats have to sit there and be like, well, you know, you know, how do we now present this to everybody? So my uh, 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 speculation on this is the way they would sell it is Joe Biden's wife would come out and say, you know how amazing of a grandfather he is. Last night, Joe and I, we've been doing a lot of thinking and reflecting lately. Joe feels he's at the you know, last you know, you know, phase of his life, and he wants to spend more time with his grandkids, and I totally support him. We've been talking. It's been a very hard decision You know what I would say? Make. No shit, lady. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but watch. Right. But you know what America's going to say? America's going to say, what a freaking noble guy. Yeah, yeah. What a noble guy for him to do this, right? right. So that's the position. Democrats are good at playing chess. That's they right. Really are. So now the tough one's going to be Kamala. Mm-hmm. The, you can't replace Kamala with a white guy. Mm-hmm. So Newsom can be president, mm-hmm. and Michelle is a VP. Mm-hmm. If Michelle's a VP, Kamala sits down. They're okay because it's black, black, black the way they do yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Newsom comes in young, and he's been a flag carrier saying all these good things about Biden. So they're going to be like, well— he was always supportive, but who knew that Biden was going to step down and spend time with his grandkids? Mm-hmm. Now Newsom is in. So if Newsom's one, Michelle is two, vice versa, they go against Trump. Who's Trump going to take as a VP? So some are saying Nikki Haley because Nikki Haley's got the Wall Street money 
but MAGA doesn't like Nikki Haley no, at all. Nope. Republicans are not fans of Nikki Haley who are Trump Republicans. They're not a fan of her. I told Vivek yesterday if he's if he doesn't pick you, I'll be very disappointed in him. They may, but, but you have to ask if he picks Vivek, what's Vivek going to be doing? Is Vivek stronger working as an AG? Is Vivek stronger having a different job? Because Vivek's not a vice president. Here's what I mean. He's not a vice president. He's a worker. He wants to get stuff done. Vivek's not a guy that wants to just have a title saying, yeah, you know, I went and looked at the place. It's great. We have it mm. under control. That's not right. his personality. Yeah, vice president, yeah. So, But if you give Vivek a real heavy-duty job, he'll get the shit done. Mm -hmm. Like right. some real, real job, mm -hmm. which I think he would like that. Mm -hmm. To do that part, so you have to you have to think about matchups. So do they go Tulsi? Do they go uh, uh, Stefanik? Do they go? I mean, the lineup is a big lineup of who you can choose from. But for me, I wouldn't choose VP too early yet because yeah. I want to know what their move is going to be. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off a little bit to have better matchups. You don't want to throw off matchups, and you can't play like oh Tim Scott would be a great VP. Tim Scott is not a uh, uh, he was the most boring guy I ever saw. Every time they would go to him on the debates, mm -hmm. everybody in the audience was yawning and falling asleep. <laughs> he, I'm sure he's a sweet man, comes across as a nice guy. Yeah. I'm sure he's a very smart guy with what yeah. he's done, but you're, you're... It's almost like, like you got to be talent. You, you, to have, if right. that's the matchup, it's the ultimate talent. Yeah. Who the hell is going to go against Michelle and Newsom? So Newsom and Trump, that's okay. That works. I think Trump has a slight edge over Newsom. But whoever the next one is against Michelle, they have to be very intentional and very strategic with this. I, again, that's my opinion. Blacks would flock to the polls to vote to have Michelle Obama. I fully agree with you. Mm -hmm. And then if Michelle's the VP, guess what happens? Michelle can go hide and stay with her husband and have a family because she doesn't want to be in the White House anymore. They have a great life. Yeah. Phenomenal life. Maybe the best life any president's had after they've been a president. <laughs> Think about it. Because yeah, don't when tell Ken black people that. <laughs> when, when Kennedy was mm. the youngest president or one of the youngest, pres youngest president at mm. the time, he died. He got killed. Yeah. Obama, after he's done being a president, they've had an incredible eight-year life doing whatever they're doing, Hollywood, celebrity, partying with everybody. Mm -hmm. so Who I do you think Trump can choose, though? If they, if the Democrats make that move, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm a data guy, so I'm, I'm a guy that wants to create a data score based on 10, 20 different markers and run it down. I wanna, I want a data where I want followership, influence, uh, political expertise, you know, hey, women. I want to do all. How about you? I'm, I'm not born here. Really? No, oh, yeah. I mean, I know you, but Obama wasn't born here, what? <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> you're, you're, uh, that's classic. Hey, I'm still waiting for that birth certificate. <laughs> so I, so I got to go to Hawaii, maybe. Maybe I got to go to Hawaii and say, Tulsi, can you give me a birth certificate? But wait a minute. Democrats in some cities like Chicago, they're hiring policemen as they're yeah. non-residents. Yeah. Yeah. They're that's not just, citizens. Yeah. Well, I can be a policeman. Yeah. I can't go be a cop and be a firefighter, <laughs> but there's a difference with the VP side. Uh, this is going to be an interesting election. So you never got your um, citizenship? Oh, I'm a citizen now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm a you citizen. you got to be a certain amount of natural. time. Natural. you got to be a natural-born citizen to be a really? VP or president. But just, yeah. I don't understand it because this country is built by immigrants. I agree. And, <laughs> you know, what's his name? Uh, uh, Jenk Uger, who I've had on the podcast a couple mm -hmm. times. Politically, we are like this. Yeah, right? I mean, exactly. It just doesn't make any sense. But yeah. we actually have a relationship. <laughs> And we enjoy oh, right. talking to each other. It's right, so right. weird. Yeah. And we'll sit there and we're like, yeah, no, but here, let's agree on this. It's yeah. a very good conversation every time we do it. But Jenk is like, Pat, I'm telling you, I'm officially on the ballot. That means you can one day run for office. I'm like, Jenk, I'm good, man. Let me go build this media business that we're building. But <laughs> yeah. yeah. So do you think Trump's back in office? I, 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 lean, I, already lean, told you. I lean towards being super paranoid and prepared. Yeah. I, if, if if I'm on the inside of Trump's camp, and let's just say I'm I'm an advisor, we're hiring five business analysts, mm -hmm. all data, mm -hmm. and I'm bringing them in. These are like three hundred thousand dollar year guys that are billion math guys, and I'm saying, listen, do it for your country, right? Mm -hmm. Data analysts say 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 a closet conservative that worked at Google, a closet conservative that worked at Nvidia, or worked at all these MIT guys. Come on in, let's run the charts. I'm going to do all data. I'm going to say 20 markers, 15 markers, 10 markers, eliminate this. What happens with this? Who matches up better with this? I'm doing all data matchups is what I'm doing. Then based on I'm going to be like, look, these are the guys we're looking at. Here's the top five. And then every day that ranking is going to change, kind of like what Vegas is changing. Mm -hmm. And then if the left can make their move first, I don't think they're going to do it because I think the left is going to wait till – the DNC in August to announce that Biden's stepping down, mm -hmm. that kind of hurts Trump because Trump can't wait till August right. yeah. to pick his VP. Yeah, they can't be letting 
Because I'm looking at Biden. There's no way in hell they're going to let him run for president. 